I left my family after years of being the disappointing child. Now my golden child sister has fallen from grace. Growing up in our household was akin to living in a perpetual state of comparison. My older sister Emma was the golden child, the one who seemed to embody everything that our parents had ever dreamed of. Her path seemed paved with golden bricks, leading her effortlessly to success after success. From her early years, Emma was the epitome of achievement, and her accomplishments were celebrated with unbridled enthusiasm. My own experiences, however, were vastly different. Emma's childhood was marked by a series of accolades that seemed to come naturally to her. Her musical talent was exceptional. She began playing the piano at a young age and quickly became a child prodigy. Competitions and concerts were a regular part of our lives, and Emma's name was always in the spotlight. Our parents basked in the glow of her achievements, often using her as a benchmark for success. In contrast, my own efforts in academics and extracurricular activities felt like mere footnotes in the grand narrative of Emma's success. Family gatherings were particularly challenging for me. During these times, conversation inevitably turned to Emma's latest accomplishment. Our parents would regale relatives with stories of Emma's latest piano recital or her stellar grades. It was as if my own achievements, however noteworthy they might have been, were overshadowed by the brilliance of Emma's accomplishment. I found myself relegated to the background, struggling to find a place where my own successes could be recognized. The constant comparison between Emma and me became a defining aspect of my upbringing. Whenever I achieved something, no matter how significant it seemed to me, it was always measured against Emma's accomplishment. I vividly recall the day I received an award for my painting, the local art competition. I was excited to share this news with my family, but the reaction was less than enthusiastic. My parents' indifference was palpable and their focus quickly shifted back to Emma's upcoming piano competition. This pattern of comparison and neglect left me feeling invisible and unappreciated. As we transitioned from childhood to adolescence, the divide between Emma and me only seemed to widen. Emma's academic achievements were unparalleled. She excelled in every subject, earning top grades and accolades from her teachers. Our parents' pride in her was evident and their expectations of me were ever increasing. They often reminded me that I needed to live up to the standard that Emma had set. Their constant emphasis on Emma's success created a sense of inadequacy in me, making me question my own worth and abilities. High school presented its own set of challenges. While Emma's path seemed clear and effortless, mine was fraught with obstacles. I struggled with my grades and faced difficulties in finding my own niche. Despite my best efforts, I was unable to achieve the level of success that Emma had effortlessly attained. My parents' disappointment was palpable, and I felt as though I was constantly falling short of their expectations. The emotional toll of living in Emma's shadow came increasingly heavy, and I began to question whether I would ever be able to break free from this cycle of comparison, failure. The turning point came during a particularly tumultuous period in my life. I had just completed my high school education, and the pressure to decide on a career path was overwhelming. Emma had already secured a scholarship to a prestigious Ivy League university, and our parents' expectations for me were sky high. I felt immense pressure to choose a path that would meet their approval, but I struggled to find a direction that felt right. After much contemplation, I decided to pursue a degree in the arts at a state university. This decision was met with skepticism and disappointment from my family. Our parents questioned the practicality of my choice, and Emma's suggestion to consider joining her at the law firm seemed like a more acceptable path. I felt as though my own dreams and aspirations were being dismissed in favor of what was deemed more practical and prestigious. The emotional impact of this decision was profound. I felt as though I was betraying the expectations of my family and stepping away from the path that they had envisioned for me. Yet, deep down, I knew that I needed to follow my own path and pursue what felt right for me. The decision to leave was not only a physical move, but also an emotional and psychological departure from the expectations and comparisons that had defined my life for so long. Leaving home was a difficult and emotional experience. 
I packed my belongings and said goodbye to a place that had been both a source of comfort and a symbol of my struggles. As I drove away, I felt a mixture of relief and sadness. Relief from escaping the constant comparisons and pressures, and sadness for leaving behind the family connections that I had known all my life. The journey to my new life was filled with uncertainty, but it was also an opportunity to rediscover myself and pursue my own path. The transition to my new life was challenging, but it was also liberating. I moved in with a friend who offered me a place to stay temporarily. The new environment allowed me to distance myself from the constant comparisons and expectations that had defined my previous life. For the first time, I felt a sense of freedom and self-worth that had been suppressed by my family's expectations. The process of settling into my new life was both exhilarating and daunting. I had to navigate a new city, adapt to a different lifestyle, and find my own way. The freedom to pursue my passions and interests without the constant shadow of comparison was both empowering and daunting. I immersed myself in my art, dedicating time to honing my skills and exploring new creative avenues. The experience of living independently allowed me to rediscover my passion for art and to build a sense of identity that was entirely my own. The absence of constant scrutiny and comparison enabled me to focus on my own growth and development. I found joy in the creative process and began to develop a sense of confidence in my ability. It was a period of self-discovery and empowerment, and it marked the beginning of a new chapter in my life. As I settled into my new life, I began to hear news of Emma's struggles. The golden child image that she had maintained for so long was beginning to unravel. Emma's career, once celebrated and envied, faced significant setbacks. Professional scandal emerged, damaging her reputation and jeopardizing her position. A prestigious law firm where she had once been a rising star. The news of Emma's fall from grace was both shocking and sobering. The pedestal on which she had been placed seemed to crumble, and the idealized image that our family had held of her was shattered. The revelation that Emma was facing challenges and setbacks was a stark contrast to the perfect facade that had been presented to us for so long. It was a reminder that even those who seem to have everything under control are not immune to difficulties and failures. Witnessing Emma's struggles was a deeply emotional experience. It forced me to confront the complexities of her journey and to reevaluate my own experiences and feelings. The idealized image of Emma had been a source of comparison and self-doubt for me, and seeing her face challenges made me reflect on the impact of living in her shadow. The realization that even the golden child could fall from grace was a sobering reminder of the impermanence of success and the importance of resilience. The fallout from Emma's scandal was significant. The family dynamics shifted dramatically as the focus moved away from Emma's achievements. Our parents had to confront the reality of her struggles and the impact it had on their own expectations and perceptions. The pedestal on which Emma had been placed was no longer as stable, and the family had to navigate the complexities of her situation. The shift in family dynamics following Emma's fall from grace was a period of profound reflection for me. The idealized image of Emma had been a constant source of comparison and pressure, and her struggles forced me to reevaluate my own experiences and feelings. Change in dynamics provided an opportunity for me to reassess my place within the family and to redefine my own sense of self-worth. As the focus shifted away from Emma's achievements, I found myself grappling with the implications of her downfall. Family's expectations and perceptions were in flux. I had to navigate a new reality where Emma's once-celebrated status was now marred by scandal. The impact of this shift on my own sense of identity and self-worth was significant, and it required me to confront the complexities of my own journey. The process of redefining my own sense of self-worth was both challenging and empowering. The experiences of living in Emma's shadow and witnessing her struggles forced me to confront my own insecurities and doubt. It was an opportunity to build a sense of self-worth was not dependent on external validation or comparison. I focused on my own growth and development, embracing the freedom to pursue my passions and interests without the constraints of comparison. 
The journey of leaving my family and witnessing Emma's fall from grace has been a profound lesson in resilience and self-discovery. It has taught me that true worth is not defined by others' opinions, but by the strength to pursue one's own path and the courage to face life's challenges. The experience has allowed me to grow and to embrace my own achievements with pride. The process of moving forward has been an ongoing journey of self-discovery and empowerment. Each day presents new challenges and opportunities, and I am committed to facing them with resilience and determination. The experiences of my past have shaped my understanding of myself and my place in the world, and I am focused on building a future that reflects my own values and aspirations. As I continue to navigate this new chapter in my life, I am grateful for the lessons learned from my past experiences. The journey of self-discovery and empowerment is ongoing, and I am excited to embrace the possibilities that lie ahead. Path to self-worth and fulfillment is a personal journey. I am committed to pursuing it with confidence and grace. Story 2 My husband gave the successful restaurant business that I built from scratch to his unemployed sister. I filed a case of fraud against them and took it back. From the moment I envisioned starting my own restaurant, I knew it would be more than just a business venture. It would be a testament to my hard work, dedication, and dreams. It all began with a simple idea. To create a dining space, people could come together, share meals, and create lasting memories. I imagined a restaurant that blended traditional recipes with a modern twist, offering something unique to our community. The journey to bringing this dream to life was both exhilarating and challenging. I started with meticulous planning, researching the perfect location, designing the layout, and curating a menu that would stand out. Every decision, from the choice of decor to the selection of ingredients, is made with utmost care and passion. My husband was initially supportive, offering encouragement and occasional advice. However, the bulk of the work fell on my shoulders. This was my project, my dream, and I was determined to see it succeed. Opening day was a whirlwind of emotions. As the doors of my restaurant swung open, I felt a mix of pride and apprehension. The initial weeks were a blur of long hours and relentless pressure to ensure everything ran smoothly. But slowly, the restaurant began to gain traction. Positive reviews started to roll in, and word of mouth brought in a steady stream of customers. My dream was taking shape and I could finally enjoy the fruits of my labor. Over time, my restaurant became a cherished spot in town. The menu evolved based on customer feedback and seasonal ingredients, and the staff grew from a small team to a dedicated group of professionals who shared my commitment to quality and service. I invested in training programs to ensure that every team member understood the values that had driven the restaurant's success. The restaurant became more than just a place to eat. It became a community hub. Local events, charity fundraisers, and special celebrations were hosted here, embedding the restaurant deeper into the fabric of the community. My hard work and dedication were paying off, and I was able to enjoy the success that had come from my relentless effort. But despite the restaurant's success, there were growing tensions at home. My husband's sister had recently lost her job and was struggling financially. While I empathized with her situation, I was also acutely aware of the importance of maintaining the restaurant's success. My husband, driven by a sense of familial obligation, made a decision that would drastically alter the course of my life and my business. Without consulting me or considering the impact on the restaurant, my husband transferred the ownership of the business to his sister. He assured me that it was a temporary arrangement, a way to help her get back on her feet. But as weeks turned into months, it became clear that his sister was not equipped to manage the restaurant. Her lack of experience and poor decision-making began to take a toll. Customer complaints increased, and the once thriving business started to decline. I watched in horror as my hard work and dedication were undermined by someone who had never shared my vision or commitment. Quality of the food suffered, staff morale dropped, and the restaurant's reputation began to deteriorate. I tried to communicate my concerns to my husband. But he dismissed them, insisting that his sister would eventually get the hang of them. 
This blind loyalty to his sister seemed to overshadow any concern for the business we had built together. The betrayal was deeply personal. My husband's actions were not just a professional setback, they were a profound violation of trust. It felt as though the very foundation of our relationship had been shaken. The restaurant, which had been a symbol of my success, was now a source of anguish and frustration. Realizing that the situation was deteriorating beyond repair, I knew I had to take action. It was not just about reclaiming my business. It was about standing up for myself and ensuring that the integrity of my hard work was preserved. I began to gather evidence of the mismanagement and the negative impact it was having on the restaurant. I consulted with a lawyer who specialized in business disputes and fraud cases. With their guidance, I filed a case of fraud against my husband and his sister. The legal process was daunting, but I was determined to see it through. I wanted to prove that the transfer of ownership was not only unethical, but also illegal. The legal battle was intense and emotionally draining. I had to relive the betrayal and navigate through a complex legal system. My lawyer and I meticulously prepared our case, gathering evidence of the mismanagement and the resulting damage to the restaurant. The courtroom became a battleground where I had to present my case clearly and convincingly. I highlighted the discrepancies in the management of the restaurant and demonstrated how it had affected the business's performance. My husband and his sister's defense was that they were merely trying to help, but their lack of competence was evident. Throughout the proceedings, I faced numerous challenges. There were attempts to discredit my claims, and the emotional toll of the situation weighed heavily on me. But with every hurdle, I grew more resolute. The fight was not just about reclaiming the restaurant. It was about asserting my rights and seeking justice. After months of legal battles and mounting pressure, there was a turning point in the case. The evidence we presented began to sway the court's opinion. The mismanagement of the restaurant was undeniable, and it became clear that the transfer of ownership had been handled improperly. Courtroom drama was intense. I had to relive every moment of the betrayal, recounting the ways in which the restaurant had suffered under my sister-in-law's management. I presented testimonies from former staff members and customers who had witnessed the decline in quality and service. Despite the overwhelming evidence, the emotional strain took its toll on me. My relationships with family members were strained, and the stress of the legal battle affected my well-being. But my commitment to reclaiming my business never wavered. I knew that the outcome of the case would have far-reaching implications for my future and the future of the restaurant. In the end, Justice prevailed. The court ruled in my favor, and I was granted the rights to reclaim my restaurant. Decision was a significant relief, the validation of my struggle. The ruling not only restored my ownership, but also highlighted the importance of standing up for oneself and challenging unethical practices. Reclaiming the restaurant, the bittersweet victory. While I was relieved to have my business back, the experience had left its mark. I had to rebuild the restaurant's reputation and restore the trust of our loyal customers. The process of getting the restaurant back on track was demanding. I was determined to see it through. Rebuilding the restaurant was both a challenge and a triumph. I reconnected with my staff and reinvigorated the business with a renewed sense of purpose. We implemented new policies and training programs to ensure that the mistakes of the past were not repeated. The process of rebuilding was not just about restoring the physical aspects of the restaurant. It was about re-establishing the valishing the values and standards that had made it successful in the first place. I worked closely with the team to foster a positive and productive environment, focusing on delivering exceptional service and maintaining high standards of quality. The road to recovery was long and arduous. I had to address the damage done to the restaurant's reputation and rebuild relationships with our customers. We launched a marketing campaign to regain visibility and attract former patrons back to the restaurant. The support from the community was overwhelming, and slowly but surely, we began to see positive changes. The experience taught me invaluable lessons about trust, partnership, and resilience. While the betrayal was painful, it also reaffirmed my belief in the importance of standing up for oneself and protecting 
what is rightfully ours. The legal battle was a testament to the power of perseverance and the importance of seeking justice in the face of adversity. Today, my restaurant stands as a symbol of resilience and dedication, it serves as a reminder that even in the face of betrayal and fraud, one can reclaim their rightful place and continue to thrive. The journey was challenging, but it reinforced my commitment to the values that had driven the success of the restaurant. The betrayal and legal battle took a toll on my personal relationships. My husband and I faced significant challenges as we navigated through this tumultuous period. The strain on our marriage was immense, and it took a considerable effort to address the underlying issues that had contributed to the situation. The experience forced us to confront difficult truths about trust, loyalty, and communication. We sought counseling to work through our issues and rebuild our relationship. It was a long and painful process, but it ultimately strengthened our bond. We emerged from the experience with a deeper understanding of each other and a renewed commitment to our marriage. The ordeal taught me several important lessons. First and foremost, I learned the importance of standing up for oneself and not letting others undermine the hard work and dreams. The experience reinforced my belief in the value of perseverance and the need to protect what is rightfully yours. I also gained a deeper understanding of the complexities of trust in partnership. The betrayal by my husband was a stark reminder of how crucial it is to maintain open and honest communication in any relationship. The experience highlighted the need for mutual respect and support, especially when it comes to shared goals and dreams. As I look back on the journey, I am proud of what I've achieved and the lessons I have learned. The experience has shaped me in ways I could never have anticipated and has strengthened my resolve to continue pursuing my dreams with passion and determination. My restaurant is not just a business. It is a reflection of my journey from betrayal to justice, and it stands as a symbol of resilience and hope. The restaurant continues to thrive, and its success is a testament to the power of perseverance and the importance of standing up for oneself. The journey has been challenging, but it has also been deeply rewarding. I have learned to navigate the complexities of trust, partnership, and resilience, and I am committed to continuing to pursue my dreams with unwavering dedication. My story is not just about reclaiming a business. It is about the strength and determination required to overcome adversity. It is a reminder that integrity and hard work can withstand even the most challenging circumstances. The restaurant remains a cherished part of the community, and its success serves as a testament to the power of perseverance and the importance of standing up for oneself. As I move forward, I carry with me the lessons learned from this journey. The experience has made me more resilient, more determined, and more committed to my values. I am grateful for the support of my friends, family, and community, and I look forward to continuing to build on the success of my restaurant. The future is bright, and I am excited to see where this journey will take me. The challenges I have faced have only strengthened my resolve, and I am more determined than ever to continue pursuing my dreams and making a positive impact in the community. The restaurant is a symbol of my resilience and dedication, and I am committed to ensuring that it continues to thrive for years to come.